Uh, well, wow, that's a tough question. Uh, oh, that's a really good question. Um, um, Actually, Adam, what do you think of the challenges of <laughs> the industry in 2020 are? There are a lot of challenges. Twenty twenty delivers a lot of challenges for not just us but everyone in the industry in that there are new markets and territories opening up. More markets, more US states, so lots of international expansion, which means more innovation, more product development. Obviously the US is the is the big place. Everybody's sort of the, the, the Wild West. How we move into the US market, I think obviously that's a big opportunity and something that a lot of the companies here are looking at, both the gambling companies and also the marketing tools we use as well. The space in America, um, so what's going to happen there is still a relative unknown. It's something that we're obviously looking to explore, but kind of a, a wait and see approach at the moment, just to maybe let the dust settle a little bit and then kind of figure out what we want to do. The US is always going to be a, a, a topic on everyone's uh, agenda next year, but I think just to focus on the US and not to have an eye towards India and also a regulating Asian market would be somewhat negligent. So I think that that would be where most people would be looking at in 2020 and 2021 and 2022. New markets are going to open up. Brazil is a big opportunity. The US is unfolding. Um, I think some markets in Asia are opening up as well. So. Geographic expansion operators need to be prepared to go into, um, let's say, uncontested market space, out of their comfort zones. We're, we're a worldwide company, we're based out in, in Asia. Uh, we're looking totally different territories, we're looking into Europe, LATAM, North America. So, uh, I, I think years ago we used to say changes in technology was a thing. Now I'm going to say what I'll say is changes in uh, territories. So, it's a worldwide industry that we're in now. Regulation is a, a big hot topic at the moment. With new regulatory changes. We see regulation being tightened up in many of the regulated markets. More challenges, I'm afraid. Um, we know regulation is there to stay, unfortunately. And fortunately, uh, in both cases. Understanding what the regulation is going to become and how to work around that in terms of marketing and advertising. There, the market changes and the, the regulations are dramatically changing, right? Especially in, in Europe, um, where we are focused at the, at the moment. Uh, there's going to be a lot of challenges. We already know that the, uh, the UK government has already got big plans for the gambling, but that's going to be replicated across Europe and internationally as well. Obviously, everyone's looking about the change in jurisdiction and what could happen with the government. Uh, that's obviously UK based. I think the election's got a big part to play in what, what the industry does and what the industry does next and how it responds to the fact that three parties have all come out and said that they want to look at gambling as a safer position. And I think that's probably the right thing to do. But how we engage with that and what we do to appear to be proactive rather than reactive, I think will shape the industry for more than just the next year to come, but for many years to come. We've got obviously the Brexit situation, so that's something we need to be aware of. Innovation. Innovation. Innovation, innovation, innovation. Uh, many, many companies, of course, are all doing the same things. Everyone's got mobiles, everyone wants to be on it, but now looking for the next thing. We're also excited to see more engagement, more personalized experience for the users. Uh, in the casino space. Personalization is going to take up a lot of space. Personalization and real-time engagement and how we can, you know, deliver a better, I suppose, a better product and experience experience for, you know, people in sports betting and gaming. I hope, at least, it's going to be focused more on the product that we deliver. It's not, not so much about bonuses anymore. It's more about what value are you actually creating for your users and how can you retain those customers? And that's something that's going to be ever more important, even going into the next decade. Uh, safer gambling, responsibility. I think the trend towards more sustainability and more responsibility within the, within the industry is going to continue. Uh, it's, it's, it will also be increasingly important to act in such a way uh, and that we're on the, on, on the right track, but there's definitely more to do. And uh, we're looking forward to, the, to taking up the challenge. Technology, 100% technology. Uh, 10 years ago, we said about mobile betting, 
what could be different, etc. Uh, technology, technology is going to be the change. I think we're going to move away from cash betting. I don't, I'm not going to say Star Trek or Star Wars, whatever, Iris or fingerprint, but uh, technology is going to be the biggest difference. Major developments in mobile with, with the native functionality being imposed on the industry by people like Apple. But I think we have to be well aware of the wider, wider trends in e-commerce and mobile. And I think for us as a business, we're not just looking at 2020, we're looking at a future-proof plan for the next five years. Um, but of course, sports betting is still there. In-play is increasing. Online is increasing, so there's going to be a lot of those kind of trends which we'll see in 2020. Virtual gaming will play a lot, a, a lot, lot larger role than it does right now. Right now it's only really uh, prominent in countries like Italy and Greece. I think just growth and development really across the platform in, in all respects, products, um, service, across sports and, and casino gaming really is you know, our major focus for that period and that's what we'll be driving hard at in, in the first quarter and towards the first half. A lot of uh, new partners coming on board and always with their full commitment to them as, as we normally do. Getting some new partners on board and listening to their innovations as well as pushing for their own. We very much believe at Beck Construct that collaborating with partners is the best way forward to drive innovation and to share ideas together. We are excited ourselves because there's a list of uh, people who we would love to um, sign up as brand ambassadors. So there's a debate internally, who do we, who do we want to uh, partner with? Of course, it's, it's always a question whether these wonderful people would want to partner with us. And if, if you know, it's always a struggle and challenge in a way. But I'm sure that next year you will hear a, a, a global and a legendary name um, becoming a partner of Pari Much. That is exciting news for, well, for us, first of all, and then for the betting world as well. What SBC event are you most looking forward to attending in 2020? Most of us who are London slash England based are looking forward to betting on sports being in Barcelona next year. And so we can get away from London Olympia and actually go to somewhere a little bit more exotic as opposed to Olymp Kensington Olympia. The SBC event in Malta, right? So the Casino Beats, as well as the Barcelona show. Oh, there are a lot of events. I can't wait for Barcelona. I think it will be really good. I was really happy for New Jersey. It was a great experience and the London event, events, always amazing, especially the dinners, absolute special. Well, it's going to be betting on sport. Yeah, but to be fair to SBC, and I've got to give credit to Raj and everyone else, they always put on a great event. So all the events are great, and I say, uh, me personally, North America. Betting on football is always a fantastic event. I'd love to be able to go to betting on Sports America next year because I've heard that was great as well. But to be honest with you, I'm always delighted to attend any SBC event because they're always fantastic. It's great to see everyone that attends them and uh, Rasmus and his team can be proud because they always put on a good show every time.